Who really wrote We're an American Band? Don Brewer, their current drummer, the guy who's been the drummer all along, claims that it was basically him. Mark Farner says that's not the way things went down. We hear from both of them in this clip. You know, we needed an intro for the song, you know, and, and that double bass drum uh, thing that I do, you know, is really a single bass. He had, da, 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 we're an American band, we're an American band. On rock history music. I'll never forget the first time I heard We're an American Band on the radio. I was I was driving from my house over to Mel's house, and, and it, you know, we just released the record, and it came on the radio, and I pulled my car over, and I, I just was just laughing my, you know, I mean, it just sounded like a hit record. It sounded so good. still does to me. You know, that that song, you know, with Todd uh, producing, you know, and, 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 it, and the, the energies that that song has, it, it just, you know, it just hits. It says hit record to me. Tell me about the making of We're an American Band. I was not a great guitar player, but I could play a, a little two-finger chord, you know, to, so I could get get the ideas across. You know, I, wa- I wanted to go down, 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 down. So I could show what the chords chords were, you know, and then, we're, we're an American band, you know, and I could sing it, you know, and do all that stuff. Actually, coming on, you know, the the intro, you know, just came from the fact, you know, we needed an intro for the song, you know, and and that double bass drum uh, thing that I do, you know, is really a single bass. I I don't play, uh, you know, I play a, a double pedal now, but I didn't play a double pedal back then. It was a single, you know, and I would all I was always imitating the sound of a double bass drum, but I would do it on one, you know, one pedal. So that's the way I play. Uh, and, and that's what, you know, that's where that came from, you know, the whole cowbell thing into, into that double bass, uh, drum deal, you know, and that, and it's just, it's just the way I play. A lot of drummers, you know, they try to cop it and they go, what are you doing? I can't figure out what you're doing. You know? but, that's a great compliment though, isn't it? When a drummer comes up to you. No, it, it's incredible. You know, I mean, it, but you know, I can relate to it. I mean, I, I hear drummers do, do stuff all the time. I go, what in the world is he doing? You know, and I'll have to sit there. For an hour and try to figure it out, you know. For you know, and it's almost like math. You have to kind of you know do the math and figure out. Well, you know, he's hitting he's hitting the snare drum like this. He's hitting the bass drum like this. You know, so you put put the math together and slow it down, and they go, "Oh, I get it. Yeah, I get it." One, one last thing about uh, uh, about uh, Don. I was listening to the clip where I talked to him about uh, we're an American band, and he said, "Well, I'm not a good guitarist, but I knew a few chords, and I came up with." with the, the the some of some of the song uh did that happen he came in with two note chords like din, 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 you know like two notes uh then but he never came, he uh he was singing out the verse he didn't have the chords for a verse he had din, 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 we're an american band we're an american band and we come into your town we'll help you party it down we're in America. He had that in two notes. Like not your lead. You come in there. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, he, no way. Um, but I was feeling it. Uh, Lynn Goldsmith, of course, was the one who, who suggested that we do a song about who we were. And we're an American band. Don come in with the, the lyrics. And then, you know, when we got done recording at Criteria in uh, Miami, and Todd Rundgren was mixing the album. Brewer comes to me and he says, Mark, I've never had 100% right credit on any song. Do you mind if I take it on this? Why was he asking me, Brother John? Because I wrote the music. I insisted on the cowbell that makes that a pretty famous cowbell. I wrote the drum intro that he plays. And I wrote all the chords. da 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 that was coming from me not to be, you know, pat myself on the back, but just, just proclaiming the territory that is mine, um, that he takes the credit for. Sorry, uh, for the fans that believe he wrote, you know, hand him a guitar and have him show you how he wrote that song. (laughs) I think people would be amazed. Did you really lose millions on that? Sorry, did you did you really lose millions on that song? Oh, uh, I don't call it losing millions. I uh, I gave up the opportunity to make millions, but 
I've been repaid in so many ways, Brother John. We'll have more from Mark Farner in the next few days. Keep looking for the full video in the top of the description. When it's ready, it'll be on all the videos. You'll be able to access it. If you're a member of our Patreon, you'll already be able to access it. All the information at the very top of the description. We have brand new Rock History Music hats. We're very excited about this because people have been bugging us for baseball caps forever. There's two different kinds. There's links at the top of the description. You can donate to the channel or join that Patreon we told you about. Mark Farner has a brand new segment on his website, markfarner.com, which is called Farner Chords, where you can learn how to play like he does. It's for advanced users, but if you're there, check it out. Links in the description. And of course, comment on our videos, share our videos on social media, subscribe to the channel, and like our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.